you'll need only a couple things, a sling, uh, a carabiner, and some sort of board. My favorite is the flash board uh, by Tension. You're going to sling something that's pretty immovable, so something pretty heavy that you're not going to be pulling all over the all over the place and then also ideally you want to be able to get your feet against it to um, oppose uh, the, the force you're going to create with your hands. So this in particular is going to be a half crimp uh, isometric pull at about a 90 degree angle in the elbow bend. So half crimp, our fingers are bent at 90 degrees. Um, we're not wrapping the thumb over the top and we're also not going to allow are pulling to open our hand up into an open-handed grip, okay? So half crimp is right here. We also want to avoid using the thumb on the back end of the flashboard to press our thumb. We're just going to allow it to float in space. So we're um, forcing our fingers to keep that half crimp grip. So you're going to clip it to the sling. Uh, the distance away is going to depend on uh, what's comfortable for you. You want to get about the right distance where your legs are slightly bent or straight. <clears throat> and then in a half crimp position, 90 degree bend in the elbow, we're going to pull as hard as we can for six seconds. And then rest for six seconds and uh, repeat that for as many reps and sets as a protocol would call for. Now I'm going to do a... Um, a set for you just to see what it looks like. I like to use uh, an app on my phone called Tabata Pro. It just helps uh, keep track of my work and rest times. That way when I'm doing the exercise, I don't have to think about it. The app will just tell me automatically what I need to be doing once I've got it set up. Starting your Tabata workout. Get ready. So that's a set. You do your recovery time, uh, three to five minutes, and then do the next set until you're finished.